It may look like junk, but some local folks are using metal like this, even by stealing it, then cashing it in, to make a pretty penny. Oh, this, could, this is some kind of fence, you know, whatever. This looks like it's an old pot to an, a lawnmower. Those are all, that's an old copper tank. Outdated, we don't use copper tank, probably came out of a very old building. The scraps can be anything from old doors and ladders to backyard grills and pots and pans. At Eco Recycling Systems on Mulberry Street, owner John Morrissey says he tries to have safeguards in place for identifying anything he buys that's stolen. We don't ask for licenses, but we, we always ask name and address. We have pretty much repeat customers and we know our customers. We're always getting new customers and there's always customers dropping off that we never see again. But we ask their name and address, we write it down, it goes on a slip. And we see everybody that comes in here because the place is covered with videos, uh, video cameras. The value of scrap metal has risen sharply in recent years, fueling a major black market for selling to scrap dealers. Often, thieves are cashing in. Police in the region and around the country report a spike in thefts of metal from homes, construction sites, and vehicles. Uh, if the market goes down, you're going to have less of it. If the market goes up, we might have more of it. Eco-recycling has been in the news recently. Once, school department janitors sold scrap while on duty. Then, police charged a Brockton man with stealing a $1,900 traffic control box from this fire station on Pleasant Street. Police said the man cashed it in for $11. It's just the idea that they were brazen enough to turn around and uh, come to the station. They came, uh, I believe, uh, the night before, and then they came back in the middle of broad daylight. Uh, so surely they weren't afraid about getting caught. Then, fire officials said the same box was scrapped again by the city because it was aluminum for $68, with the money going to the traffic commission. Morrissey says his workers are on the lookout for possible stolen goods, but he says any metals can fall through the cracks with even the toughest safeguards in place. As far as, like, identifying material, that, poli that fire box that they were talking about is an electrical box. You can't identify that as something that would come from a fire department. It doesn't say this is a fire box or a, a you know what I mean? It's just an electrical component uh, that carries probably switches that was completely hollowed out, there was nothing in it, no wire, no nothing. So it's just a box. Anybody could go in the pile, they'd never know what it was. For now, officials will have to dig harder to identify stolen metals. Maria Papadopoulos, The Enterprise.